Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Plants Crochet Cooking and More. I hope all of you all are doing good. Well, today I am here with a knitting tutorial. We are going to learn how to knit a star pattern. Now this pattern looks its best when we work with two different colored yarns. And so here I have taken a red one and a yellow one. For this particular stitch we need stitches multiple of 4. So I'll be taking 20 stitches plus 1 multiple of 4 stitches plus 1. So that means 5 rows are is 20 plus 1, 21. So I am going to cast on 21 stitches. This particular pattern is perfect for cardigans, sweaters as well as baby blankets. So after casting 21 stitches, we are going to start off with our, see, with our pattern. So 21 stitches are ready now we just need to knit all across this pattern looks complicated but it is very easy and it is uh, very quick when we knit like it like it increases rapidly that is what I mean to say now we are going to knit all across till the end Now the actual work starts. We'll turn our work to the wrong side and the first stitch we are going to knit. Yes. <coughs> now taking three stitches into consideration, which is on the left hand side of the needle, three stitches we will purl together but not completely halfway. Now see. We push the needle with the um, but we are not going to release the three stitches from the left hand knitting needle. I again turn the yarn and do another set of purl. Then we release it. So you will see that we have three stitches. That means one knit and three. Now one knit. Now again we turn the yarn and do purl in the three stitches but halfway see we are turning the yarn we are keeping it as it is then again I'll turn the yarn over by right needle then I'll purl again into the three set of stitches and then release it so ultimately I'll have three stitches again on my needle then again knit one and again purl three stitches halfway we keep it as it is halfway then we turn the yarn again and do another purl into the three stitches and then we release the three stitches as we usually do when we purl now you have to be careful after doing this you should have three stitches that is very crucial now that's the purl we tend to uh, forget that there are three stitches as it as the stitches remain one upon the other so it becomes quite difficult for a fresher to uh, identify it so that's the purl we again turn it and again purl into the three stitches and then release it now the last stitch will be a knit now to be more careful it is better we count the stitches at the end of the row so that we can identify if we have left off any stitches or not now I'm going to change the yarn and knit all across this pattern can be worked in one color also but 
it looks more pretty when worked with two different colors so I'm introducing a different color here the right side for each row it has to be knit all across after doing the right side we will start working on the left hand side sorry on the wrong side of the work <coughs> now please be careful here what we do is one knit one purl and again one knit <coughs> then again three stitches together we purl again we turn the yarn and do another set of purl then we knit one and again yarn forward and again purl the three stitches together halfway and again we turn the yarn and do the uh, remaining part then again knit one and again purl this pattern is easy but only this step you need to understand properly but I'm sure after doing it for two three times you will be able to do it easily without any difficult now in the initial while well, uh, starting the pattern we did k1 p1 k1 that is done in order uh, to get the patterns uh, the position of the patterns in the uh, a diagonal order not just one upon the other see after doing the purl what we do is knit purl and then knit finishing it off the last three stitches will be knit purl and knit now again with the red yarn we work all across we knit actually this row we need to work as we had done in the very first the second row first one knit and then three purl together halfway then we'll turn the yarn again and do another set of purl to complete it. and again knit one and turn the yarn and three stitches together we purl halfway that I'm turning continuously then again we turn the yarn and do another purl and complete it then again we turn the yarn and knit one we need to do this till we reach the end of the row mm. now after finishing this when we start off again with the new color that is with the yellow one the right side will be all knit and the wrong side will be while starting it we are going to do first k1 p1 k1 then we are going to work uh, on three stitches that is we are going to purl twice on the three stitches so that our pattern stars are placed in proper position and not just one upon the other so friends i hope you all will try this pattern out don't forget to share, subscribe and comment to hit the like button if you found the video interesting. If you are new to our channel, do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more of interesting videos. So till then, it is bye bye.